Jain Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Alhamdulillahirabbil alamin. Allahu akbar. Assalamu alaykum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Alhamdulillah Habib you just blew my head up my, my kufi got two sizes larger inshallah. You humble me inshallah. Cuz the backbone behind our organization Beitul Jama is my zawj Jamila. I get the people in and she do the mechanical work. Alhamdulillah, Allahu Akbar. At first, inshallah, I went through my times with Zoji. We just came back from a uh, benefit uh, for young Muslim children to get married. And we had to tell our story. The question was, how did you meet? And one of the things was that in the nikah, you know, there were a few things that we had to have established. And one of the main things is love of Allah. If you do not love Allah, then you can't make a successful relationship. The other thing for the sister must have a wali. Then we move forward into business, inshallah. One bring one thing, the other bring another thing, and together we make a successful business, inshallah. Uh, I have to correct, it's not 20, $175 million. If it was that much, subhanAllah, we can all go home. <laughs> I will put, I'll put it, all of it up to the Masjid uh, Ikfa, inshallah. Alhamdulillah. But inshallah, we are still striving. We're a non for profit uh, uh, organization, and we're still striving, peace of Allah, uh, trying to serve humanity. Allah subhanahu says in the Quran, He is Rabbil Alameen. Lord of all of the worlds. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala also says he's Ilahinnas. He's Lord of all mankind. And Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he was not only the Qatab al Nabiyin, he was Ahmed, the comforter. And he was the comforter to all mankind, all humanity. SubhanAllah. So we say we follow the book of Allah and the way of the Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, then we must also follow the way of being the comforter to humanity, the guide to humanity, the aspiration or inspiration for humanity. Everyone who comes in contact with the Muslims, we should be the ambassadors. We should be the ones who represent Islam, not CNN, ABC, NBC, or REC. We should be Muslims. We should be representing Islam in the correct aqidah, inshallah. Never let someone else identify you or speak for you, speak for yourself. And we identify ourselves as Allah, the Allah has identified us. He says, this day have I perfected your religion for you. Because it's not there. And the community that is best to the least amongst us, the homeless, the hungry, those who are in need, those who come from other countries and come to your house and ask for sadaqah, ask for charity, ask for help. Help in getting jobs and employment and education, subhanAllah. And it don't stop there. Make dua for the ones best of yours or who are best to those who are affluent. Because their money and their wealth is a test for them. Which of the favors of your Lord will you deny? Let none, let none, let none. The money and the wealth that we have accumulated are not ours. We're going to give it back. What we have accumulated, we are the caretakers. We are the ones who disperse it amongst those in need, not only among us, but those who are distant from us. SubhanAllah. So it is not our money. Like it's not our husband, it's not our wife, it's not our children. We don't even own ourselves. That's why when we go back to Allah, what do we say? Inna Allah wa inna ilayhi wa rajiun. Allah has created us and back to Allah is our return. We don't even own ourselves. We will return to Allah, to Allah when our time is up. So I wanted to correct a few things about the Bail Jamaah. And we fully support Iqba, Imam Tajani. We fully support his, his movement and what he's about as far as serving the community, subhanAllah. But this community has done more for the, the regular community or the outer larger community that everyone will not be informed about until later. 
when you see that you have made some 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 edways and you have gave in sadaka, then you after you're gone, people are still praying in that house. Long after we have moved on, people are praying in this house. Subhanallah. So I want to ask, inshallah, because I don't want to take up a lot of time. The imam had asked me to do the ask, inshallah. The imam had asked me to do the ask. To make the request. To implore you to share of that wealth of which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has blessed you with. And as it was said earlier today, you don't have to be wealthy. You don't have to have a lot of money. Allah, little deeds, small deeds, small things add up to a big thing if it's done consistently. So I want to ask, inshallah, he has a scale here, but I would like to know if I can get a hand or raise a hand of any one person, two people who will pledge $10,000 to this building fund. I would ask 25000 but I didn't want to be greedy. Anybody got 10000 One, Wallahi, wallahi, Allah will reward you if anyone can write a $10,000 check or two people write a $5,000 check and you don't have to give it all at one time. You can give it over a period of a year. Inshallah, you can say two years. And can I get any one person, not one? That's a little too high. Well, let's go down. Let's go 5000 Is there anyone here that can give $5,000 over a period of a year to this fundraiser, to this fundraiser? Because this is something that Allah has blessed us with. If he has blessed us to have this, the more we give, the more Allah will give you back. Wallahi. No power or no might except for Allah. Everything we have, our clothes on our back, our children, our husbands, our spouses, our wives, Allah give it to us. Not no brother, no sort of sisters, they, they control the purse. Anybody has 2500 I'm going to go down. Look. Anybody have $1,000 that they will contribute to ECFA's fundraiser over a one-year period? You can do $100 a month. And over a year, then you will have $1,000. Is there anybody, can I get $1,000? $1,000? Just raise your hand, $1,000? Allah, billahi, billahi, inshallah, Allah will reward you and reward your family, and you will see the benefit even generations back. The Abdul Rahman family was here, and the sister was speaking about education. I have a double master's degree, a master's in education and a second master's degree in special education. SubhanAllah. But my greatest achievement was my shahada. And these are things that they didn't just give me, you had to earn it. Just like the respect that we have for the Muslims, we still have to earn it. Whatever we get from Allah, the Allah, Allah, Allah is giving it to us. But now, what are we going to loan to Allah, beautiful loan? Will we give any of it back or will we take it all back with us? SubhanAllah. Even if you give in, in kind, with your time, inshallah, Allah, Allah will see it. 